Now for the TMJ examination, we start off with the extraauricular examination that is in front of the tragus. We are palpating and ask the patient to open and close their mouth. Next, we go for an intraauricular examination where we use the little fingers that are placed inside the ear and we check for any crepitus or any uh, clicking or popping sound that is felt while palpating while the patient is opening and closing their mouth. And then next, we check for the mouth opening of the patient by placing three fingers inside the patient's mouth. If on end to end uh, mouth opening is felt, it is stating that it is a normal mouth opening. If not, if it is less than three fingers, it states that the patient is having a limited mouth opening. Next, we check for the deviation and deflection. That is by taking the reference line of the midline of the anterior upper as well as the lower anterior. In this case, you can say that there is a midline shift for this patient. You ask the patient to wide open their mouth and check the reference of the midline of the upper anterior to that of the lower anterior. In this case, you can say there's a shift. It states that it is deflection. If the midline on reference to the maximum opening is found to be in the same but slightly shifting while opening the mouth, it states that it is deviation. So deviation is indicative of an anterior disc displacement with reduction, whereas in deflection is stating the condition called as the anterior disc displacement without reduction. Next, we palpate for the muscles of mastication. First is the masseter. We ask the patient to clench their mouth and then at the angle of the mandible itself in the location you can see anteriorly you place your fingers such that you try to play a palpate for the masseter muscle and then this is for the middle part of the masseter muscle you palpate for next we check for the upper portion on the superior surface of the masseter that is you locate the zygomatic arch so below that zygomatic arch is your superior surface of the masseter muscle attachment and then the lower attachment of the masseter muscle that is around the lower border of the mandible we palpate for the lower part of the masseter muscle next we go for the temporalis muscle wherein it is located in the temporal fascia where you locate the hairline just above the hairline we palpate for the temporalis muscle and then you have the anterior portion of the temporalis muscle we palpate then the middle portion and then you have the posterior aspect of the temporalis muscle where it is being palpated next we move on to the lateral pterygoid muscle palpation for that we use either our index finger or our little finger we ask the patient to slightly open their mouth and then place it posterior to the maxillary tuberosity for palpating the lateral pterygoid attachment around the maxillary tuberosity this is how we palpate for the right side of the lateral pterygoid muscle for this patient and then the left side posterior to the maxillary tuberosity next is the medial pterygoid muscle where we place extra orally our two fingers below the lower border of the mandible to locate the posterior and the inferior surface of the medial pterygoid attachment and we place the index finger of the other hand onto the floor of the mouth in a rotated motion for palpating the medial pterygoid muscle.